Did I ever tell you about the man who thought his ass on the top? It's Richard Coughlin! Six, six, six. Hello, everybody. No, don't adjust your computers. I don't know how you would do that. There's nothing wrong with the colour. No, this, this is red. I'm just here in hell. Yes, you can't make this sort of look naturally, unless you've got a lot of meth. As I'm so frequently told, the devil is in you. I've been told this. Yokup told me it all the time. You got a demon inside your soul. Mm -hmm. Most of you would probably figure it out. If the Lord of Darkness was to decide to manifest himself here in the physical world, he would obviously look like me. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Being the evil possessed demon from the scrotum of Beelzebub, possessed with nothing but a desire for fucking miscarriage, the size of Jupiter, and put it on the internet, liberalism. I am going to read to you the, the book. This book here. This book here. This is the Bible. Possibly the most interesting book ever made. If this was released today, think about it. Never heard of the Bible. Christianity is a complete rambling pile of bollocks. And this book comes out to buy, you know, your local Waterstones. This book, the Bible. Can you... Uh, no one would fucking read it. So leave the memories alone. People would buy it just because they want to have a copy of the worst book ever written. This is like... It's number one for being so dreadful. And it is. I mean, this is meant to be the inspired word of God. The Fiora. Okay, you just pick, pick, a, pick a page at random. 29. Then they rose up and went away that night. I like stop, stop, stop. Is that good, is it? Right? I mean, that's, that, that's the best he could do. <laughs> then they rose up. And then they went away and went away there. The form of the Bible, they just put so many extra words in. Wherefore then dost thou ask of me? It's like that. Just what you want. Yeah, that. You know, it's, it's really easy. Join Islam. People interpret it the way they want to. They read it and they go, hmm, you know, I'm going to read this passage because this passage is about eating the brains of live babies. I'm going to take that as a metaphorical uh, meaning. It's, it's, it's symbolic. It's um, not meant to be taken literally. God, don't commit adultery. Well, you know, atheists are wankers. Thou shalt not lie. <laughs> well, toss manga. You can boil anything down to the most basest, puerile, and crass form that you can imagine, and it always seems to make more sense. Evolution. We turn dublon. We make dublon tondras and are things that were never sexual in the first place. You know. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to put the kettle on, I bet you are. Pass the remote, fucking will I? Here we go, I'm going to read for you now from Mark. Yeah, Good. Lo loads of Marks around that time, yeah. Mark, Sir Mark Baxter, Potterington Smythe of Leicestershire. Mark 8, Mark versus Freddy. And what you've got here, and I'd like to point out to any Christians watching this, because I know not all of you, not all of you, but, uh, but enough of you that it annoys me, have a problem dealing with this. What I'm about to do is called a joke. You won't find it funny because you do not have the concept of when someone is not being serious. You've lived your lives taking every fucking stupid thing you hear literally and you play that out to normal life. However you take this book, literally, do the opposite with what you're about to see. Okay. I've just been killing loads of people right now because I have no moral compass, do I? I'm glad he has that belief then, in fact. You have that belief. Atheists have no moral compass. Good, good. That means you've just given me the perfect excuse when I finally meet you, Sean, to eat you. Right. Now, I don't mean to kill you and eat you and cut you. No, I'm just going to, as soon as I see you, I'm going to start 
eating you from the fucking tits up, right? Here we're going to read Mark, Mark eight. You've got to, you've got to read into the, you've got to see what they're really trying to say. This was written by very randy sexually oppressed men, and I'm going to read. This is Jesus feeds the multitude a second time. <laughs> Because he's, uh, he's part of the Trinity, so he should have fucking three lots of jizz. Mm. He just feeds. Mm. I wonder what they're going to be munching on. Triple X1, Jesus feeds the multitude a second time. And listen. And in those days, the multitude being very great. Well, duh. They mean it being the multitude then. The solitude, yeah, the solitude. Yeah. The multitude being very great and having nothing to eat. Jesus called his disciples unto him and saith unto them, I have compassion on the multitude. Yeah, he's compassioned all over the multitude because they have now been with me three days. That is a fuck it. See, see he, he came back, he resurrected after three days and he can stay erected for three days and have nothing to eat. Oh, and if they send, and if I send them away, fasting to their own houses, they will faint. By the way, for divers of them came from far. Yeah, the divers came from far. <laughs> the divers of the divers came from far. You know, there's no fucking divers. What sort of divers do you think? I, I, I didn't see many, f you know, it, you can't go, s there's no scuba suits in those days. Would they go skydiving from what, a tree? Are you mental? And his disciples answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? Oh, it's just such a classic gay porn set, this. Hardcore fucking Bronze Age porn. And he, and he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks. <laughs> yeah, how do you give thanks? See, these were, they were a bit more subtle with their language. They didn't say, sucked him off till he blew his muck in his gob. You know, they, he gave thanks. <laughs> and break and gave to his disciples to set before them. To set before them. Set, get on the ground. You sit before them, and they did set them before the people, and they had a and they had a few small fishes. <laughs> you can see where this is going. This in this see under you could fucking you could fuck twelve year olds back in. I know disgusting, jammy bastards. And he blessed them and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat. They ate, and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat. <laughs> and they that had eaten. Th and they that. What does that even mean? And they that. And they that. What? When? How? Who? And they that had eaten were about 4,000. And he sent them away. I bet they fucking flooded away. And straight away he entered. <laughs> he entered a ship. Fucking hell. They're not being nautical vehicles. With his disciples, gang, for gang banging a ship, and came into the parts of Dalman Uther. Dalman, probably a Romanian prostitute, 17 years old. And the Pharisees came forth. Wow, they came forth. How many were in the competition? You can see it. And he sighed deeply with his spirit, and saith, Verily I say unto you, which means, oi. And he left them. Bust to him, fucked off. And he charged them. He charged them. He charged people for the privilege of fucking a ship with him. Do you, do you, after they just jizzed in a load of blokes' mouths. Four thousand fucking times. And he cometh. And they bring a blind man. A blind man unto him. They bring him unto him. And besought, and besought him to touch him. They're giving a blind man. To, yeah, he grab hold of it. It's your walking stick. Poor blind bloke. Led away, led away like some poor dupe, and he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into town, nor tell it to any in the town. And clearly the guy didn't tell this story to any in the town, 
Because if he had, we'd know about it today. You know, this is not... This is not a book about a holy man, a good man, a man who was kind and helped those in, and, and comforted the afflicted and afflicted the comfortable, a man who was, you know, a trans, who had par partly trans, transcended into the higher realms of a supernatural being. No! He was a fucking pervo! And you think I'm the evil one? You sit there and condemn gay people because they want to adopt a fucking three-month-old Zimbabwe boy, you know, whose house has been blown up, and you know, they want to go and have, get married, you know, and have a big fucking do because they're gay. And you fucking dare. I could re- I, I, you know, I might do this again. I'm gonna- I might- This might be a series. You know? The Bible. It, the, the biggest fucking porno book. The sickest fucking shit you've ever read in your life. This was- Would you like me to jizz in your eyes? No. If you were blind, would it make it better? I've given you the real side of the story. The, the, the st I've given you the Bible as it was meant to be. Read at night by lonely men going camping, wanking into a flannel. And queers. Good night. And may God m molest. It has